have any knives. Don't they give knives here? I usually sit over there. I don't know. What am I doing over here? And here we go, guys. And three. You guys need to do this thing. This is called the slate. Mark it. There we go. And that's how we start it all off. Out of their seats and at it again. The judges are always enthused to take on the chopped kitchen after hours. Good evening. Good evening. Good Let's, evening. Ah, look at these crisp, clean chef's coats. You guys ready to make a mess? Yes. I don't want to make a mess. All right, Alex, Mark, Jeffrey, serious business here. We've got a pickle problem. Namely, the appetizer basket we gave to four chefs in our pickle-themed competition. We've got pickled pork, Brussels sprouts, clotted cream, and a pickleback. Okay, let's explain what is a pickleback. A pickleback is something that you might have after hours yes. because you take the shot of whiskey and then you take a shot of pickle juice. And as it goes down, it feels like, to me, like a warm BLT. That's strange. It is strange, I but I gotta that. tell you, there's nothing better. So, Alex, Empress of Acidity, how do you like these ingredients? I mean, this is right up my alley. This basket was made for me. The pickle juice, briny acidic, the whiskey has even got that acidity to it, and the clotted cream also has tang. All of these ingredients fall under the Empress's domain. All right. Well, we gave our chefs 20 minutes to cook this, so I think you ought to have about eh, 15. <laughs> okay, all right, you can have 20. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Are you seriously yeah. ready? Yeah. Okay. 20 minutes. Box starts now. All right, we're gonna get some of this. I'd like a knife. I'd like to cut. Oh, thank you. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a pickled pork with bacon taco. I need some tortilla shells. You know where the tortilla shells are? Because Aron's not here, I'm gonna use the flour tortillas, which should really upset him. What's with these knives? I don't need these knives. I'm only gonna use my chopped cleaver. Get out of there. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm gonna sweat down some of that pickled pork with my bacon here, and I'm gonna make a taco. So this is my first order of business to get the meat tasting good. Okay, I'm making a, a cross between a Reuben and a Monte Cristo. I'm calling it a Scruben. I'm taking the pickled pork, I'm boiling it with bacon, and then I'm gonna mash it up in a sandwich. Genius. With the brine, I'm gonna make a Brussels sprout sauerkraut. I know, it's just amazing how much stuff I can come up with on the fly. But that's why I'm here. I'm making a pork. Pickleback miso soup. Really? With a little powdered dashi and stock and kombu. Hey, Alex, are you going to just use the pork to flavor your broth then, or are you going to have pork in the soup? Oh, I'm going to definitely have pork be part of this soup, totally. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Guys, you got 12 minutes and 36 seconds. Oh, my God! Right? <laughs> What you got there, Sean? That's a really big bottle of whiskey you got there. If someone says, bring me a whiskey and leave the bottle, and the bottle is this big, you might want to get some help. Uh, special delivery for Chef Mark Murphy. Uh, Chef Mark Murphy. Boy, my lads, look at this. Do you think that's... I, is that big enough? I tell you. Mm. No, it's staying right here, baby. All right, then. Woo! OK. Hold on. Forgot what I was doing. Coming through. Hi, Mark. So we're making a little clotted cream mayonnaise mixture for the outside of the bread, because that's how you get a nice crisp crust, right? So this is going on the outside. And then what's going on the inside? You guessed it. Water. How's it look to you? This would be good meat for a taco. There we go, huh? We're going to put a little chili powder in here. I'm putting the pork mixed with pancetta and a little bit of whiskey through the grinder. I'm going to look to this pork for the potential it has for great texture in this soup. Mm, 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 mm. Nothing like clotted cream and whiskey in miso soup. Yum. Classic. By the way, using my pickle juice right here. Oh, I need more than that. So pickle juice. And I need my, bur my bourbons going in here. Pickle juice into your Brussels before yeah, they do. Oh, boy. Ah, smell that, huh? Guys, 
guys, I see green. I see green in the room. Oh, thank you very much. Special delivery. Oh, I could put some of that in there. Oh, you're so cute. A little extra pickle? I love a pickle. I'm putting this right in my dish. This is so good. Yeah, I'm all set. Thank you, sir. Wow. Delicious. <laughs> and judges, less than 10 minutes to go. Mark, do you mind? I'm trying to do a time call here. Yeah, baby, look at that. Oh, mama. 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 Your mama never made a sandwich like that. I'm taking a little uh, chipotle in here with my clotted cream that's going to go on my taco. There we go. I think we're there. Alex, you setting up for a party over there? I'm going to do a very elaborate presentation for very little. Oh, I like it. This is for you, Jeffrey. Thank you, my love. OK, so what have we done here? We've done the Brussels sprouts two ways. One, I made a sauerkraut for my Struven. Here, I'm making a fried Brussels sprouts with pickle cream and apple salad. Someone get me an espresso, please. Sure. Judges, you're on your final minutes. So I'm putting all my garnishes for my soup. Pickles, scallions, ginger, miso paste, pork, and just some white mushrooms for a little texture. Here I have the classic clotted cream soy sauce sauce. Thank you so much. Can you stir that in for me, would you? Yeah, sure. That'd be great, man. Put me to work. Mm-hmm. That's not half bad. Thank you. All right, judges. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up. Cut it out. Hold on, wait. I got a Snapchat. Yes. What is going on here? Yes. Tacos, look at that. I just Snapchatted it. A lot of people are going to like that one. What a bouquet. Let's raise our glasses and lower our expectations. <laughs> oh, very <laughs> nice. You guys had to work with pickled pork, Brussels sprouts, clotted cream, and a pickleback. All right, Jeffrey, what'd you make? This is a Reuben mixed with a Monte Crisco, and I call it a Struben. So what I've done here is I've taken some rye bread and I buttered it with the clotted cream and mayonnaise. Ooh. Then inside, I made a quick sauerkraut out of shredded Brussels sprouts with the pickleback juice. Yum. And then I confit the pickled pork with bacon and olive oil and a lot of butter. I put that all together with Gruyere cheese, pressed the hell out of it. And then on the side here, I made fried Brussels sprout salad with a clotted cream vinaigrette and fresh apples. Bon appetit. Mm. Mm. I grew up across the street from a deli. This tastes like that. This is so balanced. You really taste the Brussels sprouts, and you really made that kind of unimpressive pork taste really bacony. You know, I got to say, I love the crunch on the outside of the bread, and the inside is just delicious. For me, I would have served the whiskey on the side, because the bite of that and the little shot, you know what? that would have been delicious. That would be an improvement. Mark, haven't you had enough whiskey already? Oh, right. Well, you know, I was goofing off. That was actually tea in that bottle. Yeah, that's what they all say. No, I swear. <laughs> Alex, what do you have? This is a miso soup. So Brussels sprouts, ground pork with pancetta with the whiskey, miso paste with clotted cream and the pickle juice, chopped pickles, scallions, hard Brussels sprouts, and a little bit of jalapeno. I'm amazed how the clotted cream works in here. Very good. Unusual flavors, very comforting at the same time. All I can say is, me so happy. Oh, my goodness. He didn't just say that, did he? <laughs> oh, my five. gosh, that's so delicious. Like, maybe half of my sandwich with that? Oh, I think that'd be great. That'd be a good dunk. Chef Mark, what'd you make? I know Aron's not here, but I figured I'd make a taco. So in the taco, I took the meat, I just diced it up, and then I chopped up a little bit of bacon in that as well to bring a little bacon flavor into it. I put the whiskey in there, I put a little chili powder in there. The clotted cream, I put a little bit of chipotle in there and some cilantro and a little lime juice. Then I took red onion, Brussels sprouts, pickle juice, and the jalapeno, and I let that cook nice and slowly. And then a little cojita cheese on top and put it together. That's it. That bite is delicious. You get the pickle, you get the pork, you get the smoke. Very tasty. I love the crunch of the Brussels sprout, and I like the very subtle use of chipotle. It's good. Tasty. Ted, it just goes to prove how good we really are here. It does it ever. You did it again, chefs. You did it again. Well, some delicious pickleback pickle apps. Thank you, judges.
You're welcome, Ted. Cheers. Cheers. And to you guys. Don't forget where to go to find more Judges After Hours rounds, foodnetwork.com slash chop.